Albeit know that the sort of stiffness of the lower part of the frame is really important for power transfer from the cranks to the rear wheel. They even increased the size of the drive side bearing on that lower uh, pivot there. But one of the kind of the more subtle changes you might not notice to this new frame is actually the sort of cross section of the seat stay. They went through five different iterations of this through 3D printing and different carbon layups. You'll see it kind of changes from sort of vertical cross section to horizontal to get that increase in stiffness they were looking for. You can even see on the new fiber link, it's a bit kind of chunkier and actually runs that really wide bearing. It's got two sets of ball bearings in there. So it's really important. They wanted to improve that stiffness. It's actually heavier than the old fiber link, but they've saved that weight elsewhere. Just knowing that that stiffness is really important. It's got a level of anti-rise that keeps the suspension active under braking, but with high anti-squat and a slightly regressive suspension curve that helps resist pedal input at the start of the travel.